Hi, Lee Hodgson here with another short video. This time it's um, checking whether you're in tune when you add vibrato. Now, I realise the uh, implications of that, but to get down to business, I personally can't stand it when you add vibrato and it goes grossly out of tune. Um, I'm, I'm not plugged in here, I'm just playing on acoustically. So let me play, for example, the note of A on each string in turn. So, first string, fifth fret, and I'm going to add a bit of vibrato. And you can see my hand moving. Now, to me, that sounds acceptably uh, musical. I like my playing to be musical wherever possible. B string, 10th uh, fret. You can see I'm adding quite a lot of movement, but it's not going grossly out of tune. 3rd string, 14th fret. 4th string, 7th fret. 5th string, 12th fret. And the 6th string, 5th fret. Now, in case you haven't already noticed, I'm so pleased that it's consistent. If I just whiz through all 6 strings from top to bottom again. I'm applying quite a lot of motion, but as you can surely hear, it's not going grossly out of tune. What's the big deal? Well, if I pick up guitars with light gauge strings, it usually goes which I find ridiculous. I don't find it impressive at all. Nothing against wide rock vibrato. I realise that in the hands of a master that can sound fantastic, but I can't stand it when it goes once again. I'm not holding back, I'm just playing as I normally would. Um, while the camera's rolling, on a related subject, I've got two other things to mention. Another thing um, I really don't like, I never use the word hate, but another thing I really don't like is gargling. I'm well aware of um, the connotations, but for me and my country playing and funky stuff, I can't stand gargling. So here's my open G string plucked quite aggressively. It's not gargling. And I've got a vibrato system, Wilkinson VSV100. On a related subject, you know, I'm thinking about tuning here. This is all about tuning stability. Uh, you may know me as primarily a country player. It's not all I do, but primarily country player. I don't want to be out of tune. Do you? Can you tolerate any out of tuneness? How much money are you going to earn by playing out of tune? Or just a little bit out of tune? I don't want to be out of tune. I've just put new strings on. Uh, just a few minutes ago, I've got my tuner here. Um, I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. I tuned up a few minutes ago, as I say now, more to the point. Let's do a country bend in G, good old country bend in G. Now, you surely recognise that move. I first learnt it from the, the fabulous Arlen Roth back when I was a teenager in the 80s, 70s even. Oh, I've given my age away, almost. Uh, okay, seriously, listen to this bend. I'm bending a G string. Not only is it in tune, I hope, but listen to the top string. It's not moving at all. Look at my hand bending the G string. It's not moving at all. Uh, let me play an E string. Now, I doubt if the camera's going to pick this up, but I assure you that E string Play at the 12th fret, harmonic. Now I'm going to bend the third string at the same time as the top string is sounding. That is barely moving, probably not even one cent. Can you hear the E string is absolutely rock solid stable whilst I'm bending the third string quite a lot. What's the big deal? Well, virtually no guitars do that. In fact, no guitars do it naturally. I'll reveal the secret in just a moment. Um, worst case scenario, uh, do this at your peril. Play the A string open, and then bend the third string up by a tone, whilst sounding the open A string. I'm gonna bend the third string towards the floor. There's the evidence. The A string, I've checked, and it moves maybe a cent or two. 
We're talking about a hundredth of a semitone, I believe. The A string is not moving, it's not going out of tune. What's the big deal, you may ask? Try that on any guitar equipped with a vibrato system, irrespective of price or brand. The A string will probably go way out of tune. Yeah, mine isn't. That's not me bragging, it's just that I spent not a lot of money on a WD tremolo stabiliser. What does it do? It stabilises the tremolo. Seriously, here it is again. Let's play an A. That top string is not moving at all. G. That top string is not moving at all. No, it's the B string. Not moving at all. Perfectly in tune bends. If the operator knows what he's doing. F sharp. F. E. E flat. D. D flat. C. Etc. Etc. Okay, the bottom line is how am I doing that? Can I still use the vibrato? That's the bottom line. As I say, it's the WD tremolo stabiliser. Nothing to do with WD40, by the way. It's a WD product products, um, which is fitted in the back. I can't actually show it to you because it's inside. Um, check out WD products. It's the TS1. Um, I've got them in all my S-type guitars. In one of them, I've got a TS1H, which stands for heavy. Oh, I should have told you, perhaps, to wrap up here, my string gauges which enables all that you've just heard. My top E is a, an 11. My second B string is a 14. My third or G string is a 19, uh, plain, unwound. My fourth or D string is a 30. My fifth string or A string is a 42. I'll say again, that's a 42 on the A string. And my sixth bottom string is uh, a 58. That's 11 to 58, but custom gauge. Oh, one more thing I've just realised on the subject of tuning. I've been describing the things I don't like, starting with vibrato that goes way out of tune, gargling I don't like. Being out of tune when you're bending in general is a no no for me. How professional would that be? Finally, I like to be in tune all over the neck. You might think, well, what's the big deal? It will always be. Well, I think you'll find it won't. If I bend as I normally would, I expect to get a tone. Uh, let me play and see here. Bottom string, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, down lower, top string. You might think, well, what's so impressive about that? But I trust that was all in tune, and I wasn't thinking about it. If I pick up a guitar with light gauge strings, it's probably going to be all over the place, and I won't look very professional. Once again, finally, I'm going to play the note of D bent to E. And I'm not going to give it any thought, I'm just going to do it. Okay, thanks for watching. Lee Hodgson signing off.